All opinions expressed by Jose and Ben or any of the guests on this show are solely their opinion and their opinion alone. Their opinions do not reflect the opinions of any other sponsors or other parties involved in the recording of this show. Do not treat any opinion expressed by Jose and Ben as a specific endorsement to make a particular investment or follow a particular strategy. Their expressions of their opinion on this show is purely for informational purposes. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Thriller Premium. Welcome to Thriller Premium. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Talking in Bits, where we walk you through Bitcoin bit by bit so we can provide you with the information you need to succeed and persist. Back with our proof of work building chain, episode 36. No 51% attack this week. Yeah. Uh-huh, we got it right. Episode 36. Yes, got better in the house. How are you, bro? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Everything's good. Everything's moving fast, man. Life is yeah. moving fast. Things are moving fast. Bitcoin's moving fast. I saw a tweet that said, uh, first it was you know day traders who bought Bitcoin, then it was... Um, companies now it's countries. What about the cypherpunks, man? Yeah, I mean you they know. weren't day trading, man. Yeah, they were buying this to yeah. buy each other pizza. Facts. Uh, but yeah, that that's kind of where we're at now. We're hitting that stage, the big businesses, and and more to come. Uh, it, it is a good opportunity um, to, I guess, bring up Ray Dalio because it goes yeah. along that big investor, big pocket fund. So what did he say today, man? Yeah, he said uh, that. I mean, the government <laughs> will find a way to kill it. Um, but you can't stop something that's peer to peer, man. Kill what? Bitcoin? Yeah. Or they'll, you know, regulate it to its death. It's like you can't stop it. He's uh, so. Yeah. Who's Ray Dalio? Just a hedge fund billionaire. So. Why do people yeah. care what Ray Dalio has to say about Bitcoin? <laughs> Anyone who's made a billion dollars, it's like, I mean, they could get it in illegally and like they're still like people look up to them. You know what I mean? Why? Like, I don't know. It's just yeah. we value fiat. Yeah, right. I think it's a um, a gift and a curse. Um, yeah. Sometimes I feel stupid. Like I see people. I, I'm actually in conversations where people are like throwing dudes' names like that, and I'm yeah. just like, I gotta stay quiet. I got yeah. nothing on that. Um, but it's to my advantage because I also don't know why people care. Ignorance is bliss, man. Ignorance is bliss in this situation, yeah. at least. Um, sometimes it, that backfires, but yeah, stop worrying about these people, man. These people just want more money and more money. Um, and I think they've gotten to the point where it's like a like a built-in trait now. Like, I don't even yeah. think they want more money because they need or, or even care for more money. It's just like, I'd rather take it from you than you have it. Yeah. Um, I don't care about Red Dollar. And, and, you know, it, it amazes me how stupid people can be in different areas of life. Uh, not that we're not all stupid in different areas of life, but the ones that willingly show it, Elon Musk, right? Like, the ones that stumble. I mean, there's there's one thing to, like, be wrong about something privately, but to, like, double down, triple down, quadruple exactly. down. In public, it's yeah. like... You're just making a fool. Even privately, if you double and triple down privately, yeah. you're having a hard time. You may not want to be private. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, he just doesn't understand it. You yeah. said it, the peer-to-peer network status of it. Um Limewire, baby. Limewire, because yeah, people, you know, it's just you know, when you distribute all the fail points to so many different places and so many different reaches and so many different devices. Speaking of fail points, uh, there were a few caca coins that went down this week. For maintenance. Yeah, was it Solana? Was one of them? Yeah, so I don't know what that is either. The ignorance yeah. is bliss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to call this episode Ignorance yeah. is Bliss. Well, they're, they're calling it the Ethereum killer, right? And so it's like, already? it's in the face of everybody. Yeah, because the gas fees are cheaper. There's already an Ethereum killer? Literally. Yeah. So. Uh, and I give it credit because it's not hard to be an Ethereum killer. Um, yeah. Do it right. Yeah. Set good monetary properties and you're good. That's yeah. the thing. The funny thing about all these other coins is that it's code. Yeah. They can match it and just try Duplicate to Duplicate it. Just try to get name. well. They do. Most of them start as a Bitcoin fork, but yeah. like, it you could do the same thing Bitcoin is doing monetary wise, people. And then at that point, it just becomes a selling point. Who? Yeah. How can I get people to use this instead of Bitcoin? But you can match the twenty one million. Like, I don't think there's anything like. There's no trademark. Obviously, this is all open source code. Code. I don't think there's any one thing that stops people from doing it. I just think people selfishly think that they know better. Yeah. And Vitalik. And other people just think, I can do that better. But if you go through history and you listen to safety and you listen to all these people and you understand what we value, you can't do that better. Yeah. That's, but I mean, you can say less supply, like, yeah. but then it just won't dynamically scale. A lot of things won't. So you have to understand perfection as it is and then build upon it instead of building, you know, Something against else. it. Yeah. yeah. And that's where these other coins will fail. And that's where, 
you know, there's always the argument of day trading. There's, uh, ETH people always tell me that I, they could come up bigger on ETH. Yeah. Yeah, whatever that means. Ignorance mm-hmm. is bliss. I, I don't know. Sure. Won't Can you? Out. Yeah, I could do a lot of things to come up. I mean, that's the thing. So, yeah, cool. To, I guess we're not on the same level. These people I'm talking to. I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess we don't we don't understand what we want to do 20 years from now, 30 years from now. They don't get it. They they just want to come up. Yeah, so like come somebody could do like a like a Bitcoin like Solana whatever the hell that thing is. And I mean, I don't even know what it's called. Is that Solana? I think so. Something yeah, with SOL. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go with SOL. That's cuz I, I don't think it's Solana. I think it's something else. But um if they want if they match you know everything about Bitcoin monetary and then just adjusted a few things on how maybe they get taproot out before Bitcoin does right like these mm-hmm. things that are just like they still good um, they're just not many changes then you just have to have the better network right then it's yeah. like oh we have more nodes than they do oh transactions settle faster than and then give the reason why and you could easily topple Bitcoin yeah but the reason historically these all have been shit coins is because they always try to change it and it's, you're changing perfection you're changing human and, and, and to, and intuition to value something. Uh, set by rules of math and property, and they always fail. They don't know yeah. better. Yeah, I'm getting through the block size war and wars, and I'm kind of seeing the forks and you know what's yeah. splitting communities and how you know Bitcoin turned into. I mean, Bitcoin is still Bitcoin, but yeah. the forks caused you know other Bitcoin coins that are really just crap. They just try to change the incentive. The incentive, yeah. as we've talked about week after week, the incentive structure of Bitcoin yeah. is so well-rounded and yeah. so protected and so perfect. Um, and at this point, it's not that Bitcoin could not be beaten before. It's that at this point, it can't. It's flowing forward way too fast. Right. So it would take a huge turnaround of time for anything to 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 come through and be able, even if it's the same properties, to be able to build enough of a following. Yeah, momentum. To, right. To get yeah. over Trumpet. So that window of matching it is too late. And it's probably why people don't do it. And they right. try to do other things like Cordano's more privacy. Uh and, and you know, Ethereum does the smart contracts and a bunch of others. Because people probably uh, they probably thought we can't beat that. Let's try to do something different. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the lying to people and getting people to spend their hard-earned money that don't know how to day trade um, into your false promises is what I call it. Because if, yeah. sh- if, <laughs> if you're shutting down your blockchain for maintenance. There's an issue. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same thing I feel about Ethereum, which is like, you know, Ethereum over time has gotten to me where it's like, I'm open about listening to it. I like things about it. And it's just like immediately like, whoa. And the big whoa for me is being able to go back earlier on a fork which which they did with the Dow and they've done recently mm. and be able to just announce like hey Ben right your, your, your transaction that has 50 confirmations well I'm sorry we're going to go back change time this is literally what you're doing you're changing time and say yeah that tra- do it again that transaction wasn't valid it didn't count and I don't know if that's what it is or if they just pulled one transaction out like the false one or whatever I don't yeah, know yeah. I don't but the fact that you can do do it, that <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah, man. And that's not, that means that they have the power to do so. So, meaning that if you want to use the Bitcoin 51% attack, Vitalik and his coons, I mean, that's, that's one, the 51%. That, that's one of my points. Uh, yeah. You know, there's there's so much Ethereum that was pre mined, 70%, and then it has a central government, essentially. Yeah. So, they're the 51% attack. They were able to change the blocks, go back, and, and they've done it more than once. So, you know that this can happen. Right. And I hear the Ethereum people crying now, but they can do this, and but, uh, but NFTs, but, but, we're not in it for the same game, I guess. Yeah. I don't care about any of that stuff because right. that's what the fiat dollar does for me. Like yeah. the similar things. Like I can live with that fiat dollar because it does what Ethereum can do for me. Yeah. I could buy paintings, NFTs. I could, yeah. Yeah. What does it do for me when I'm not around? What does it do for me even when I am around, right? Like mm-hmm. for the wealth that I'm about to build or pass on, how do I make sure that in my situation, the Burgos family name legacy completely pivots into the up direction? Mm. How can I do that, right? Yeah. I can work my ass off. I do that. I'm right. I'm doing all these things. But when it comes to money, I'm way too late in the fiat game for that to matter. My yeah, family yeah. legacy is way too late in that strategy. We're not, you know, oil oil family. We're not in, in, in real estate. We don't do any of that. So we're way too late. What is it that guarantees my offsprings and everything a future? A future that can't be debased. A future that can't be presidential candidated. A future that mm-hmm. can't be changed. A future that can't be anything. It's Bitcoin. Right. So we must not be in it for the same game, Ethereum guys. So yeah. please, if you see me out there, yeah. I don't care about your come up. Yeah, I, I, and that's not being mean. We're just in it for different things. Yeah. Uh, and whenever I want to get a come up, maybe I reach out to you and you can school me on how to come up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, time is ticking. Yeah. Time is not forever. We know this game ends. 
So I'm not dedicating any time to that at all. Like, yeah. I don't want to learn about it. And that this is from a person who loves knowledge and loves information. It just, you've already shown me what you can do. Um, I'm not sold. Yeah. It's just that you had one chance. You did these, like, dial things and you did these things. Um, and you don't step out like the Bitcoin community does and actually um, work hard to, to convince people or to talk to people about what it is that they're doing. Um, it's, you hide behind your, you know, what you can do, smart contracts and all these facades and, and these things. But the Bitcoin contributors such as ourselves, such as all the other greats and the people that have come before us, have put out the information that says, oh, this is the flaws. This is how we fix them. That's what the whole BIP is about. Yeah. Like the 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 Bitcoin improvement protocol, yeah. which is how they introduce new features. To, that's what it is. It's the yeah. developer saying, nah, Feedback. yeah, we're we not doing this well enough or we right. can't do this to scale. How do we do that without changing consensus? I, I think Ethereum has a bit, but why? When the 51% of the dudes could say yay and nay anyways. Why? People don't get that. And and like because of the come up. I think because of the come up. They're yeah. blinded by the come up. And I, I see it uh in friends and you know, people I know on the internet, right? And yeah. I ain't knocking it, man. Like use those gains and buy more Bitcoin. Yeah, I, I don't knock it right. until it, it impedes in my time. Yeah. Right? Like now you're just intruding on my time, right? So I'm not right. knocking your move. Yeah. Uh, but when you know you forcefully continue, you know my stand, I know your stand, and you forcefully continue to build this narrative with no legs. Yeah. Because I love when somebody, we were talking about, I don't want to put the person out there, but the, the Facebook group that you got or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah, like, I'm not knocking your good point that could make Bitcoin be, hmm, come with it, though. Yeah. Don't give me rhetoric. Don't give me... I mean, if you want to talk about, hey, the FBI will one day have supercomputers to crack cold storage, sure, let's talk about that. And the percentage is low. Yeah. But a node attack. Well, the, the thing about those <laughs> things I always think is, is like, do people think that Bitcoin won't evolve? Yeah. To, to to adapt to it. Yeah. BIP, perfect, right? So like, it's funny when they say, oh, well, the, the federal government is going to do this. So the Bitcoin protocol developers are just going to, what, fall asleep? Yeah. I, I don't understand, like, yeah. there's, Pe a, people there's don't, a People don't understand That's what that. Taproot like, is. Yeah, people don't understand that. Uh, they, they just don't understand Bitcoin. Um, and they, they don't, don't want to. Yeah, you know? Because the opportunity is there, man. The opportunity yeah. is for sure there. Yeah. Uh, but they don't want to. Um, and for various reasons. I think we talked about that before. Mm -hmm. There's many different reasons. But it, it's, it, you know, it's a good segue to go into, uh, like, the fiat standard of things. And, and like you said, people don't care because of the come up. Fiat is the only standard or the only way of exchange and value where manipulation is the incentive. Yeah. Lying to people is the incentive. Uh, an example I was talking to my wife about the other day is year in and year out, and it's because I was having cell phone problems. Year in and year out, every single company comes across the board and says they're the best in America. Mm -hmm. Best network over here, blah, blah. Why can't they do that year in and year out and not get in trouble for it? Because yeah. somewhere along the line, whether it's a regulation thing or whether it's a network thing or whether it's a decision thing, somebody's getting manipulated by fiat to make that lie, to make that bold claim that they yeah. can't keep up. And there's no repercussions in fiat. And you see that across the board, especially in politics. Um, I don't need to tell you that Pfizer is one of the most successful companies out right now. <laughs> and it was, a, it was like a literally layup assist from the White House. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like the, the, that incentive to lie to people is a fiat standard incentive. And, and, you know, we talk about this podcast you and I do sometimes off, off the mic. Well, most of the time off the mic. Yeah. And, and the situation is that is I will not be a part of a situation, and I won't speak for you, I speak for myself, I would not be part of a situation where the tactics used in the fiat world get used in this new Bitcoin standard world. Yeah. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, in my own mind, build the habits of using those tricks, Yeah. and I don't see any value in them here. I always think about the meme that's, you know, uh, you don't have no power here. It, it, your fiat moves have no power here, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why pound for pound, uh, word for word, and episode for episode, we've already produced a lot more than the majority. Because we're not looking for you guys to be manipulated on anything. Because if you guys weren't here, me and Ben would still be doing this. Right. We did this before this even became a thing. Yeah, yeah we did. Like, there's no incentive. You know what I mean? So, therefore, any incentive that comes your way from us, you could definitely trust and definitely understand that it's for your best interest and not ours. Yeah. Because we're going to do this whether these lights are on or not. Thanks. So thank you for showing up. Yes, sir. We want to preach, uh, I think like Carr says, the gospel of Satoshi. <laughs> but it's not even about that. It's yeah. about we stumbled upon something, like I said a few minutes ago, that can take your family legacy and go this way with it. And Dude, not have to lie to do it. 21 million coins, 7 billion people. Just the properties, like. right? Because that number could be changed. I think somebody correct me sure. on that. I don't think 21 is the specific thing. 
I think it's just the fact that those properties of scarcity, of fungibility, of, of all these things were perfected. And we mm. value that inherently. So whether it was called Bitcoin, whether it was called Aircoin, whether it was called Laptop Coin, if it had those properties, I think naturally we were compelled to gravitate towards it. Yeah. Just like people gravitate towards gold and hard metals because they have those properties very well and we gravitate to it. The situation with the, with the hard metals is, is that unfortunately now you have this thing that, that, that's better. Than, like, it makes your properties better than, than what you have. So it's not that gold is not uh, doing monetary property well. Is that the new kid on the block is doing it better and is yeah. doing it faster and is doing it more future proof and is doing it more anonymously mm-hmm. um, than you can do it with gold. And, and, and that's the problem with that. But once again, it, 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 that fiat in, incentive for companies to lie to you over and over in six pack abs and, and then put something in the bottom of the screen that says, yo, results may vary. We know that. <laughs> yeah. We know that. Like yeah, obviously, yeah, results yeah. vary. Yeah. The problem is, is that you made a promise that you can't keep and hid behind that. And because somewhere in that legal regime or somewhere in that, you know, industry, uh, all those lawyers are caked up. All those lawyers know everything about each other. They can sign off on stuff without even reading stuff because that's how connected they are. They're going to go and tell you that, yo, you just made $150 in that check. How about you give us $145 so you could buy this fake ass promise that we made you? Yeah. Um, Many people may not know that I have a background in marketing a little bit. Yeah. That failed not because I'm not driven. That failed not because uh, of any numerous reasons that some people can fail. That failed because no matter how hard I tried to be unethical, yeah, even at the slightest degree, because that's a spectrum. You mm-hmm. could be like shitty, shitty, or you could just be kind of unethical. I couldn't even taste kind of unethical. And that allowed me, conversely, to fail. Yeah, Because these systems like the Facebook ads and, and all these tracking things and all these lies that you have to make in your copy. Remember I wanted to do copy for a while? Yeah, man. After a time, I started to figure out these industries are just built on making you feel a certain way and then scooping you up like ice cream. Yeah. And the problem is that that's not wrong with that. Yeah. Because Bitcoin is doing that for us in a sense. It's solving a yeah. problem and scooping us up. Is that they're not living up to the promise. And mm-hmm. there's no repercussions for anybody, for no yeah. company. Google got to where it's at right now, getting all this information because there's no repercussion for them to do so. Yeah. Matter of fact, there's incentive for, for them to do so. Fiat world incentives. Lie your ass until you're a billionaire. Yeah. Name your favorite billionaire that's actually that you think is the most ethical, and I tell you you're lying. He's not yeah. ethical. He didn't get there that way. Because in that world, you can't. Now, fast forward 20, 30 years from now, and the Bitcoin standard, you tell me that man is ethical, I'm probably going to believe you. Right. Because there's very small ways that you can lie to somebody and get them to part ways with their Bitcoin. I'm going to investigate the shit out of you. Or you got to give me some value, or there has to be an incentive for me to give this to you. So therefore, if you have a lot of it, you either had a lot of fiat and you were in that transition, but eventually that won't be the case. Eventually, you've had to give enough value to the world for people to want to pay you their Bitcoin, and mm-hmm. that's why you have a lot of it, Yeah. right? And, and you can't lie to somebody to get their Bitcoin from them unless you're stealing from them. And in the Bitcoin standard, I don't think that'll be the case, man. I think yeah. we're back to even queue. I think everybody has a talent and everybody can do... Back to that. Not you need to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody that has a hookup that knows... No. What do you got? What do you offer? I'll pay you for it. Right. Because I'm giving you this flat shit that you, we don't, don't tax us, no nothing. Even so, on this very topic, I yeah. saw someone had tweeted, they had said, uh, in the future, doctors uh, who work on a Bitcoin standard will change the world, right? Because Everybody. If, if the hospital is, you know, destroyed by the fiat incentive mm-hmm. of, you know, hey, we're going to put you on a, a incubator or, or a ventilator because, uh, you know, we're going to get 50 grand. Um, bro, <laughs> do you see what happened? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it, when you have holistic doctors working on a Bitcoin standard, that doesn't exist. You know what yeah. I mean? We're not trying to kill people for a fiat benefit. Right. Um, so case in point, my man. And they, uh, they'll work point. harder. Right? Facts. They understand that what they're getting is not something that's dying, something yeah. that's inflating, something Facts. that they can pass on. So they'll work harder. The work will be better. Um, and the, the market will decide what's good and what's not. Um, yeah, man. I'm going to keep killing him if I keep hearing his damn fucking name. <laughs> Pomp, same thing, bro. Yeah. Same thing, bro. Yeah, if Your you guys moves. didn't, if you guys didn't notice, we're talking about Bitcoin influencers who uh, who are shilling a bunch of different products. See, they, they may be saved because so. they probably have enough Bitcoin to be saved. But I'm yeah. gonna tell you right now, them little tactics y'all got up your sleeve. Yeah, them shits ain't gonna work where we going. Uh, well, not where I'm going. Uh, but who knows, man? Uh, they'll find a new way to do it. But the thing is that is, be aware. Uh, don't trust any of these people. Uh, but you, you just got to keep uh, you got to keep progressing you got to keep learning this stuff and, and it's super important to do but the fiat 
standard, the fiat world um, is built on corrosiveness, is built on lying, is built on coercion. Uh, hit me with a marketer that's ethical, I call you bullshit. A thousand percent. And they could be the most genuine person of all time. But that doesn't mean that when they put on their marketer hat on, they're the most ethical person of all time. Uh, and in order to get big gains, you have to make um, bold claims. And with bold claims, uh, most of the time comes uh, a lot of lies. And just look at the last phone that you bought that was supposed to be the greatest phone ever and tell me how long that lasted. New iPhone's um, coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's new laptop. Let me know. Yeah. New microphone. Let me know what was the last time something actually lasted for a very long time. Uh, it's not... It's because... It's that rat race of the fiat. It's like, yeah, I'm going to spend it. It's going to come in. I'm going to spend it. I have no that 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 high time preference. I, I have no reason to save this. Yeah. I, as a matter of fact, it's in my best interest to move it fast, right? Because if I hold it, I'm going to do something. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to get robbed for it. So when we move to this Bitcoin standard where more people are saving and more people are, are, are low time preference and they're delaying their gratification and they're doing the right things. And because they're delaying gratification, that means that they're not eating fast food, right? That yeah. shitty diet. That fast $5 burger diet, whatever, that's killing everybody, right? So it's like once you start doing that, you're going to start saving money. You're going to start making home-cooked meals. You're going to start changing your life. Once that standard shifts in, once again, all 99% of these motherfuckers in these businesses that you see out here will be dead yeah. immediately. And just like we know the U.S. dollar's dying, I hope these people know their career's dying. It's yeah. going to die because of that. Because you got here by lying to people and backstabbing people. And eventually, people don't want none of that, man. People are waking up regardless what you see on Twitter or hear on the news. Uh, people are aware of shit, dude. Like, yeah. it, more than ever. Uh, and I know they want you to say that it is not, and it's because it is. I've talked to a lot of people that, in some situations, I think I would never talk to. And when I hear them talk, they, they, they're aware. They know what's going on. Uh, and that's longtime Massachusetts people. That's, you know, mm. people that you would think are going to be blinded by what's going on. They're aware. Mm. They know what's going on. So uh, just keep pushing. Keep preparing. Bitcoin standard is the way. Leave the fiat standard. Or keep falling for the best cell phone coverage of the year. Uh, well, uh, I would, they, they always name the awards to uh, uh, Harvard and Morgan rated us 2020. Who is that? Yeah. Who is that? And who's, yeah. get, who's paying them fiat to drop these bogus rewards? All right. I don't know. Same thing with the car commercials, all that. Same thing for all. That's why yeah. these big tech companies got that way, man. Because we got that fiat and we said, here, I'll buy you a new phone every year. Uh, yeah, you put three microphones that pick up this and pick up when I'm having sex with my wife and pick up all this shit. Yeah, I'll buy that from you because in the fiat world, that's what they trained us to do. That's just yeah. to buy it and have the new fancy thing. Uh, you go back all the way to keep up with the Joneses, right? So it's like this, like, in, into society, it's like, yo, if one of your peoples or your neighbor got something dope, go get that or yeah. go try to compete for that for no damn reason whatsoever besides pump it back into the system. Pump it back into the system. Don't value this. Um, it's it's toxic, man. Yeah. <laughs> that fiat system is toxic. Um, yes, it will, man. Yeah, man. We could go back into um, some, you say you want to talk about some basics, uh, some basic terms like black height and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I pulled um, up uh, the mempool. And, yeah. Uh, love the mempool. Yeah. Where are we at on black height? Uh, oh, well, I can look it up. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. I, it's on my phone, too. Nah, no um, it's like over 700,000. Um, gotcha. If I were to guess 700,500. Gotcha. Something like that, around gotcha. that area. What, so when you're on that, what, like, what stats are you looking at? Uh, when I'm in the mempool, I'm usually looking for how many blocks are ahead, uh, meaning how fast my transaction will probably get processed and what the fees are. Um, there's a lot of other cool stuff there. Like you can see the transactions. Mm -hmm. uh, I was able to look into one of my multi-sig addresses there from the mempool and see all the transactions that I've ever gone there back to privacy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see all the inputs. You can see how much is in that um, actual uh, address. Um, so you can get really detailed with it. Um, you can look for transaction uh, ID. You can look for block height. Um, you can look for a bunch of different hash, uh, a lot of different descriptors, uh, and the mempool does it all. But to answer your question, I'm usually trying to figure out when I should consolidate. Mm -hmm. So I'll see if it's you know a lot of blocks. The last month and a half have been beautiful uh, because it's always about a block or two, right? And a lot of people are scared about that. Oh no, the mempool should be busy. Not when you don't. You see lightning doing what it does, and not mm -hmm. when you see these different type of scaling things. Um, but for me, it just means that I grab a shitload of UTXOs, I consolidate them for very cheap fees, and when you have like one or two blocks in the mempool, um, estimate twenty minutes right per yeah. block, and then just know I could do one sat fee, and unless something blows up it's going to get put on one of these blocks, yeah. right? So it's a good time to get one to two sat fees um, and be able to um, get transactions off fat fast. Usually what happens is if you do two sat fees or too low of a fee and there's a lot of blocks in the way, um, priority in the fees will get pulled up and then your block will sit there, your transaction will sit there 
different software handles the difference. Um, after a time, it would just drop off the mempool. Yeah. Uh, and you don't lose your money. You, you, it just, it's like it never happened. The UTXO goes right back to you and the transaction gets dropped. Um, but yeah, mem- mempool is cool. Block height is um, how, uh, how high we are in the stack. Mm-hmm. So it's um, it's seven hundred and and and, and uh, five hundred blocks uh, uh, of ten minute intervals or about. So uh, most people call it the time chain. I think that's very accurate. Um, it, I don't know if it was Dergigi, but there was a certain example where it was like um, he he laid out this example. It might have been Dergigi, maybe not. Um, he laid out this example where it's like you're in London, I'm in New York. We both have the same account. You swipe, bang bang, right? Regular U.S. credit card or whatever. We only had X amount of dollars, but because you're in a different time zone, um, those transactions kind of bumped. I got rejected, but I didn't know it, right? Mm-hmm. Because of the different time zone thing, right? And then on the time chain is like, no, once that transaction sets into a block and it gets confirmed, that happened the same time around the whole world. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter where that 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 situation is. And I think a lot of people use block height as time references, right? Gotcha. So, um, think about the newspaper, right? You. The newspaper gets printed on that day for news that happened before. So meaning, yeah. if, if there's a news event that happened after that date that's time stamped on that newspaper, you can't trust it. But if it happened before that time stamp and you see it on the newspaper, well, then there you have it. It, it's, it's there, right? Yeah. It, it's so kind of works in that fashion. Uh, but there's a lot of metrics on the Bitcoin network. Um, the mempool, um, think about the mempool being as where all the transactions go. They kind of sit there and miners come uh, uh, around. And depending on a bunch of variables like how the fees, mm-hmm. uh, they they scoop up from the mempool, right? So think about it like they're out there harvesting. They're looking for like the better corn, and then they put them all into a, a, a um, it's a candidate block, is what they call it. And a candidate block has their um, their solution to the proof of work problem, uh, all the transactions inside of it, and the hash of the previous block to say that they're the next one candidate. Uh, and then that gets proposed. If the proof of work is connect, is correct and, and they solve that, then the nodes will get the thumbs up to say this is the uh, this candidate block is successful. I found this out. That's very, very <laughs> slick. This is, yeah, I was like, ah. Oh. So when you solve a block, <laughs> yeah. when you solve a block, you have a head start, meaning that you can start looking for the next proof of work problem while the rest of the system is still, still looking because yeah. they haven't been updated that the block has been found already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get like a 10 That's minute, fire. yeah, you get like a 10 minute like head start like if a, you find the block. It's like a boost in Mario Kart, my man. It's a, it's a secret boost. But yeah, it's if you solve That's and you fire. get and you get a successful block, you have like a 10 minute jump on the rest of the network Yeah. because that still has to propagate through the nodes for it to say that block is successful. Fire. Let's start working on the next one. Yeah. Uh, and you are solved it and are already working on the next one. Yeah. Super interesting. Dope, um, but yeah, man, pools are cool. The whole incentive system is cool. Um, yeah, mempool.space, I believe, is the website. Mm. Uh, if you're newer to Bitcoin, if, you, if you're not, you probably already know about mempool.space. But if you're newer, go check it out. They have a really nice, you could do this in a lot of pages, but I like theirs because they have like visual blocks. Mm. And then you could kind of see like the ones on this side have like a block height. They've already been found, whatever, whatever. You can, you can check them out, which is cool. And then on the other dotted line, on the other side, it's like the ones that are pending. And like buckets, you actually see um, the, the the one megabyte cap, you actually see like, oh, this this bucket, this block is filled with 50% of transactions. I think it's super dope, man. Dope. Uh, it's, it's watching the pulse of the network. It's watching it work. It's watching your money be secure as fuck because I don't know about you. I don't remember the last time the bank let me in on that. Yeah. And, and how that I've stuff was going on. that. So, so really cool stuff. Um, any other topics we wanted to get into on that? We got mempool. Um, still got a little time to kill. So let's yeah, no, just stats on that. That's yeah, all. let's go over some some uh let's go to Bitbo and see some stats so we could uh Bitbo. Is it Bitbo? Yep, real time yeah. dashboard. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so at the very moment, um forty eight thousand, uh, but that's not interesting. Block height seven hundred seven hundred thousand seven hundred and seventeen. Right. Uh the last time a block was found was two minutes ago. Uh, the uh, the average block time uh, in this difficulty round has been nine minutes and forty seven, so we're doing pretty good there. That's about every ten minutes, and then they got other stats like money supply. Uh, the size of the blockchain right now, which is interesting. When I got into Bitcoin, it was three hundred gigs or a little bit under. Uh, when my node right now is sitting at four hundred and thirteen gigs uh, of of space. Uh, it's about a hundred gigs in. Yeah, 
a long yeah, time. Yeah, if you get a terabyte, you'll be, you'd be good for maybe another four or five uh, years, depending on transaction sizes. I did find out that there is a cap, and you're finding out in the block size wars. Mm. There is a size to the block, but um, SegWit helps kind of cheat that. Not cheat it, because it is a limit, but because the, the uh, SegWit is the segregated witness script has been removed from the transaction. So because of that, that transaction is smaller. Thus far, mm. it can actually technically fit more than... Uh, it's almost um, like compressing a file. Going, it is. Is it, it going is. from like a wave to an MP3? It is, but it still can go over one megabyte. So it's compression for the fees and for that stuff. Um, but it, uh, Bitcoin notices um, which transaction is which. And sometimes you could get a block that has more than a megabyte. Um, and somebody could correct me on this. More than a megabyte. But because a certain percentage of them were SegWit, they were able to get that bigger block space. Got you. Um, I, I think that's how I understand it correctly. Uh, but yes, native SegWit is compressing transactions. There's also a lot of different things like security for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also how the Lightning Network was able to exist was because of uh, segregated witness. Um, and that's what SegWit is. Um, uh, yeah, an easy way would be is a script is this big because it has this, the witness inside of it. Um, and now they've removed the witness and they put it um, somewhere else. I think it actually sits on the mempool. I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, they removed the segregated witness from the transaction, and now your transaction goes from this to this. Um, Gets so, more transactions in one block. Yeah, and lower fees because your size is not big for your UTXOs. Uh, it has a lot of advantages. The mo- the And I don't know technically how, but the most popular advantage is Lightning. Yeah. We were able to do Lightning because of the BIP that introduced uh, SegWit, uh, native SegWit. Uh, gotcha. So, Interesting stuff going on there. But yeah, yeah if you guys go to Bippo, B-I-T-B-O, if you don't know about it. I like Clark Moody's dashboard. I'm still mm-hmm. always in Clark Moody's. Uh, on my phone, I have a shortcut to Clark Moody. I just think it's cleaner. Uh, it's like a permanent dark mode, so it's easy on my eyes. Um, oh. I've appreciated that over the time. Um, and yeah, and you kind of get the same information, but you can see the hash rate. Um, you can see the pulse of Bitcoin, and, and it's pretty cool, man. But that's when you get into it. A lot of people probably just don't even care about this stuff. Yeah. Um, it may be a lot, uh, over a lot of people's heads, but this is the stuff that makes you, you know, convinced that you're you're actually storing your wealth in a successful place. Um, I, I, Brian Armstrong, <laughs> he brought up a post earlier that got me actually thinking. So, Stablecoin. Yeah. So my, you know, my wife and I have certain projects that we're working on, so we have stablecoin. Um, but it's correct. You're pegging your stable coin on something that's dying. So therefore, your asset, because that's what a stable coin is, it's mm-hmm. not an actual dollar, it's just a crypto asset. Your stable coin does for is an investment that's losing value over time. Mm-hmm. And if it's not losing value, it's losing buying power over time. All right. Uh, which is the same exact thing. Same evil, different type of dynamic. So that got me to think is, well, why the hell don't I just hold this in Bitcoin, which is a different asset? And you would think, Jose, you're bullish as fuck. You should be holding that. I'm trying to figure out how to avoid the tax, man. And yes, you caught me on camera saying that. Trying to avoid the tax, man, if we need these funds for a project. I don't have a time frame for these projects. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to have some money liquid, man. I don't want to have it. I don't want to have it. <laughs> my, my, my man just sold a crib. He, he made over six figures in profit. He's like, where can I park this where I can make interest but still be liquid because we're going to need another house? But Bitcoin is liquid. It is, but I mean, I don't know if you've heard, but there are some people who who are like, um, if you're buying a home and we see anything related to cryptocurrency, we're not going to lend to you. Have fun staying poor. Well, have fun being a dinosaur, right? Because we're going to get rid of you guys anyways. Yeah, you'll be bought Uh, out by us. (laughs) Um, But in the meantime, like people still need liquid for purchases and moves and projects. So (laughs) it's it's one of those, man. So I I told them, I was like, stablecoin or S&P 500. And like... I don't, no? know, no. I don't know. Like what what's yeah. what's the what's the tax man in that situation? So you you gotta pay for a project now. What do you got? You gotta liquidate the Bitcoin. Yeah, you gotta sell the Bitcoin and yep. then depending on what tax bracket you're in, you'll pay capital gains tax on that. Okay. And that's from the difference of when you bought it to what it is? Yeah, or, from when okay. you bought it to when you sold it. Now it, 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 and this is you you'll hear at the end of the episode, this is not financial advice ever. Yeah. Uh, ever. not from us ever. ever. <laughs> uh or tax advice. Um so uh once again, we do this even when the cameras are off. Mm-hmm. Um so what if you go Bitcoin back to stablecoin to bank account? Same deal. Yeah. yeah so yeah. where do they get you in that is my question. When it goes from Bitcoin to stablecoin? Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not not the bank transfer, but they just want to know. I mean, like when when you enter like trading info, um, it kind of like you can connect your taxes to like your trading account, and then it kind of pulls that data. Um, or you enter a form in manually, but it has when you bought it, when you sold it, what the profit is, 
And then depending on your tax bracket, how much USD you make a year, you're in a certain bracket and you're taxed, you know, a certain amount. Um, so yeah, man, it's just, you know, run your pockets, bro. Come up off them pockets. Nah, nah. <laughs> I just did like the thought came to me in that because I always thought the same thing. Yeah. It's liquid, stable coin. I'm getting good interest. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. But then when I saw that post, I was like, it makes no logical sense to peg money on or, 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 or yeah it's like it's like I signed up for the stock market that loses value over time yeah it's very strange yeah I mean in my conversation with my friend I'm like you could park it in the stock market but if it corrects it's going to come down I mean it's the same deal with Bitcoin like yeah. imagine someone at 65k saying I want to park some money here yeah and they're still waiting right now I just don't want to get the tax so, man but yeah I, won't, I don't want to deal with that either so, I got I, if you uh, here's a different question so on the tax thing hit me El Salvador says yep. there will be no capital gains tax for El Salvador residents what, is, what does that mean for me? That means you go to El Salvador and you sign yourself up as a not good enough citizen. I do know that there's you know refuge I mean? places. That's what Puerto Rico is popular for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's I, I get it. it you're animal. not enticing me with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm a hodler. Right. Maybe you can entice these guys that are spending, but yeah. Uh, super cool. It's blueprint, right? It's part of that beta test, whatever it yeah. is. Um, listen, I'll pay my taxes if I need to do so, just not aggressively, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're not even making this a fair deal. Uh, question. Yeah. You never sell that Bitcoin. You get USD loans off of that. Tax. No tax? Uh, no, there's no tax on that, bro. I mean, yeah. you're, you're paying interest on a loan. But, All loans. Yeah, you're okay. paying interest on loans, but there's no there's no tax. I mean, because you didn't sell. Because you didn't sell. Boom. Right. That's, that's the way around it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm paying off that BlockFi loan. Yeah. No, I'm I don't want, I don't want it with them. But yeah, if yeah. I, I mean, with anybody. You know but what, what, what I'm saying is, is if I go get it somewhere else, I'm sending address to address collateral. So I'm not turning that into... Yeah, you're not uh, on exchange on Coinbase, Cash App, Binance. You're not... There's nothing that says Jose sold Bitcoin. It just says that he sent it somewhere else. I mean, if you're looking on the blockchain. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Well, listen, BlockFi is telling anybody everything. So yeah, it's not yeah, even... Yeah, yeah, they're I telling know. the government everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my, yeah, my, my deal is that like, I don't yeah. know. I, I only know Unchained, unfortunately. Uh, not unfortunately, they're great. Um, <laughs> I only know Unchained as like another example for loan who's doing loan products. Yeah, like yeah. That. But my, my thing is, is I go to Unchained because I think blah, 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 this X, Y is better, right? And then they're obviously going to approve a loan, all that. They're going to require for you to fund your deposit address at that point. Mm-hmm. So now I can take that Bitcoin um, from that was stable coin that I turned into Bitcoin. I could just send that to the collateral address, right? Yep. And that's not a taxable event. That's an address to an address. Right. And then I just pay my loan off and yeah. I keep that Bitcoin forever. Yeah, and you're good. From my understanding, oh, yeah. this that, is not tax advice. That seems like a lot of trickery, y'all. This ain't advice <laughs> by any means. That seems like a lot of trickery. But once again, I want to circle back to your your pegging your your asset to something that's slowly declining. Oh, yeah. oh, well, not slowly, but yeah. fast declining. Um, so this isn't trickery because I'm rambunctious and I like to do tricks. Because in my opinion, uh, uh, and, and I where I stand now, BlockFi will never see another Bitcoin from me. Mm-hmm. Um, but. That whole concept of, well, I can ride something that's going right into the corner, keep that, and not get taxed because when I need it for these projects, you got it. I can yeah. just get a loan, and yeah. fund the project, yeah. pay off the loan. Uh, keep yeah, man. There, there was someone who, who was yeah. in real estate, and he worked with the company who gave him a, a Bitcoin loan, yeah. and he was able to get liquid for projects while still you know, maintaining his Bitcoin. He doesn't have the keys. But the idea that there are services yeah. unchained yeah. Um, where you can have keys to your Bitcoin. I mean, even Unchained's new product, my, my buddy was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm cashing out my 401k. Do that. I want to buy Bitcoin. What do I do? How do I do it? And I'm like, uh, I believe there's an Unchained product that will allow you to roll that fund, that 401k, that Roth IRA, whatever it is, yes, directly sir. into Bitcoin. You have that in a retirement account simultaneously you have the keys to your bitcoin yeah yeah that's and, incredible the uh the, the part the cool part about it is is not a, a, a labeled retirement account it's just yeah. a multi-sig vault yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, a, 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 yeah and, there's no there's no penalty for withdrawing early uh, i'm assuming because it's I, not I, 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 tax fee out. yeah it, de- it depends on roth it depends on these yeah, things yeah. but there is cer- a, certainly an advantage to do so um and I, i'm neither the person nor Right, because I, I, as a stubborn thirty-year-old, I'm mm-hmm. still not thinking of IRAs and thinking yeah, about yeah, yeah. retirements and stuff. Yeah. Right, I was actually having this conversation earlier, and I'm like, I like to just hodl. Yeah. Like, like all this stuff is cool, but I wanted. I, I actually literally brought this up and got a few like. Oh. Um, I, I actually think products like this are super cool, but they're just trying to attract people, old people. 
that do this already. Yeah. Because the newer generation is going to understand the value of the Just more people. <laughs> yeah, the more people yeah. I put in the way, the more yeah. at risk I am for whatever the fuck. Because we can't predict yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of things, right? right? So one of my biggest favorite features of Unchained Capital is the bailout option. It's yeah. the, hey, if we don't exist anymore, here's your spend information and go get it, right? That right there nails it in for me to say, I'm removing those barriers of people that I'm introducing to my wealth. So the IRA thing is fantastic. This isn't advice. I know it sounds like it is. You go do your own research. I know it's whatever. Uh, uh, prop. And I, if I were to choose, I definitely want it to be Bitcoin and not dollars. Yeah. So that's an easy one if you want to hold your wealth long term. But to me, it's like the older generation cares about having other people kind of vault theirs. And, they, and with mm-hmm. Unchained, they have their keys. So they still have to take some type of sovereignty. But like that, these products are like trying to say, this is the old and we're making the new version of it. I'm more interested on what the newer, newer version of it is, right? Yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. the stuff that doesn't use the old stuff or the old terminology and logic. Right. Uh, but we're not there yet because lending is the same exact way in Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Old lending logic, collateral, these things, mm-hmm. just with Bitcoin added in a safely neat way. IRAs yeah. is cool. I'm not interested, but a lot of people are. I'll tell you that verbatim. And yeah, um, and, uh, yeah I think your buddy, if he has one, uh, why not hold that wealth in Bitcoin? Why, and, and why not hold the keys to that? Um, because there is, what's the other, the choice. Um, there's a few that do Bitcoin. I think Grayscale is a retirement mm-hmm. uh, fund, isn't it? Or is that something else? I don't know. Unsure on what exactly they do. I'm sure they have some type of retirement portfolio. Ignorance is bliss. bliss. Yeah, the Ignorance yeah. is bliss. I don't know shit about Grayscale besides that they don't give you your keys. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. all I need to yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's a hedge fund. Um, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, no, um, own your own keys when you can, especially when it comes to the IRA. Gotcha. I don't remember the last time Vanguard, Vanguard came to me and said, here, you have a uh, half partnership of this. Bullshit. You have a portal. Play, yeah. play with it. Yeah. Um, in this situation, it's like, no, I have keys. I can do it. I got the vault. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and yeah, you can still treat it like IRA, still tax. I don't know. I'm not the guy for that stuff, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will be soon. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it's interesting stuff. Products are evolving. Bitcoin is changing the standard. But once again, this stuff makes more sense in that scenario where it's like, you know, one post can switch your whole philosophy. But before it was like, mm, well, I don't really have, you're telling me to trust fiat. And this scenario is like, I really don't have to, right? Mm. Like I'm already holding an asset because that's what um, um, a stable coin is. It's an asset. It's not a dollar. Even if it was pegged to it, um, it's still a crypto, right? Mm-hmm. So to me, it's like, I could just shift and take the wave up. And the only risk would be is if I have to convert, I pay some taxes. Mm-hmm. But if I never have to convert. Yeah, then you're good. We're yeah. good. This is not advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I have to repeat that. L- listen to Sailor talk about to do shit just because yeah. they're here. Don't do that. Yeah, Sailor was talking about real estate people in general. What do wealthy people do? They get you know real estate in Central Manhattan, Times Square, sure. uh, you know, these parks, right? Central Park, and they they're building appreciate appreciate appreciates. So they never have to sell it. They just borrow against it, and the value just goes up and up. So they just get equity liquid that they need to live off of or do whatever on. And they get to still hold that asset. It's the same exact thing with Bitcoin. Yep. So. And if you have to trade it, then you pay the taxes, yeah. I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. That's the thing about, I know taxation is theft. So this is in no way, shape, or form an argument for taxation. But I'm that civil of a human being. But I'm yeah. like, yeah, if it makes sense, I'm, I'll, I'll cut you some taxes. Like, I'm not, I'm not, that doesn't yeah. trip me out. That'd be tripping people out. Like, yeah. nah. And I get it. I yeah. do. Taxation is theft. A thousand yeah. percent. But it's like, what really kills me is the ones that are just like illogical. Like, damn, y'all in here, huh? Like, mm-hmm. going by the y'all in this one. Yeah. Uh, and that's the problem I have with that scenario of, like, should I keep it a stable coin? Because, like, I need it liquid, and I may need it sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. So the obvious answer is, well, you know, the, the dollar you know, is going to be around for a little while. I don't know that. And that's the risk. Yeah. Right? So take the, take the chances of paying the tax man maybe once or just flipping it, right? And loan after loan and collateral and collateral. Go, going through Hamilton's book, my man. They yeah. woke up one day and... There's a new game being played with the currency. I hate to be that guy, man, because that seems like the the you're the historically informed one. I know, I know, <laughs> but it like and it wasn't that long ago, bro. It feels weird. Yeah. It feels weird, yeah. man. Like yeah. it's like you're like not guilty. That's too strong, but like you, you you see the perishing of so many different scenarios, and you just can't do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, this show is an attempt for that, right? To try yeah, to help some people it. out and try to do, but it's like, man, 
you hate to be the guy that's just waiting around for this stuff to happen. But yeah. right, historically set, it's like writing's on the wall. Why is it not going to happen? That's yeah. what I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. How yeah. is it not going to happen? Yeah, Back yeah, to the yeah. formula, right? Facts. Like, where is the U.S. dollar not going to be inflated? Yeah, I mean the the fact that I believe it's at forty percent now. Forty percent of all U.S. dollars have been inflated? have been print, printed in the last. Okay, what what number of inflation months. is that? It's probably in the twenties. I heard twenty. I mean, ah. so the news will tell you it's five percent, but that they're not accounting Fox for now. the increase the increase in food, steak, pork, uh, lumber, used car market. I mean, lumber prices are coming down because it had some, you know, there was labor involved in that, but food, used cars, real estate through the roof. Yeah. Through yeah, the roof. And that's a problem. So, man. Like, you know, what are they going to say? How do, well, once again, I'm just waiting for somebody to yeah. explain to me how, to, how you to, save it. To map this out, if you make 100 grand a year yep. uh, or, or whatever it is, right? Um, if the real estate market is up 10% a year, inflation they're admitting is at 5% a year, then you have a 15% like decrease in your purchasing power. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah. the opposite of a raise. You're down 15%. For nothing. Um, yeah, for not doing, like for being, doing your job, right? For working hard. Yeah. And stacking so. that. And then we loop back around to the stable coin is pegged. <laughs> yeah. To that same thing. So the thing crashes. You, you literally signed up for a losing game. And you know it's losing, but you signed up for it. Yeah. I never thought about it because I need a liquid money. And most people, I need a liquid money. Mm. And um, yeah, that, that 8% is good. That's yeah. a nice little piece. Uh, um, you know, it builds up quick. <sighs> fiat, fiat tricks, man. Those yeah. fiat tricks. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know what the final is. I, th- I still think we need a liquid. Like we need a very liquid. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, it, it's just it was a cool scenario that even for anybody listening that's newer, even at you know my experience level or even in my life, there's always still those weird angles in life that you can kind of tweak and learn something new from. Absolutely. Uh, and I hate Brian Armstrong. Yeah, more than a lot of people would think. <laughs> I really do. Like I, I I've seen yeah. him actually speak before, and boy, didn't the first ten seconds of shit that came out of his mouth didn't I know? Like, yeah. wow, how did nobody see this? Yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. But anyways, um, yeah, even a a, a Brian Armstrong post was like, ah, I mean, a bunch of people were just saying Bitcoin fixes this. We understand yeah. that. Yeah. But you know, you know, as a you know a working family still, um, yeah, you, you need liquid money. You need to be able to pull moves faster, uh, especially with the stuff we got planned. So, I, yeah, I, I don't know. This is a good conversation that we were able to throw around. Actually, yeah, bro. I hope you guys got value out of that. Yes, but, sir. Um, I guess the only difference there from say four or five years ago is Bitcoin is the 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 incentive there to actually make these moves a reality. Because mm-hmm. if Bitcoin didn't exist, what were we gonna do? I'm going to leave it a stable coin. Stock market? Yeah, stock market. Or investing in my own business. Sure, that's, real that's a different type of investment. Yeah, right. sure. But you had to but, be... I, see, this goes back like... Listen, man, I, I got so much stuff in my head that I want to write about. Yeah. Uh, I just got to get like a routine in this thing going. But this goes back to that whole incentive of like, how did you find out about real estate? Like, how did yeah, you find yeah, out yeah, that yeah. that works? Yeah. It's not because you were hanging around watching Puffy and the Family. Right, right, right. I promise you. Right, right. And they wanted you to watch Puffy and the Family. And facts, I, don't, I don't even want to sit there and say who they are. That, that's a loose, yeah. that's a very yeah, loose yeah, yeah. topic. But, you know, I, ideally enough, what most people don't get when they say nonchalant things like, I would have just threw it in a fucking 401k. I would have made it. How did you learn that? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't get that opportunity, man. And I'm a pretty savvy dude. Man, when I when I hear these rappers talking about the money that they have or or like photos with money, it's like, that's yeah. not impressive, bro. Stupid. And it's melting. I, you know I'm what I mean? A, I'm going like, to sound, sound old as shit. But like, I still supremely impressed with Jay-Z. Yeah. Like, I think the way the man has grown in the yeah. front of everybody has been immaculate, like perfect un- until proven otherwise. Uh, perfect. And if you hear him lately on verses, Obviously, he can rap. This is not a, 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 an argument. But the stuff he's saying. Yeah. Like, look, they're killing people from your own neighborhood that you look up to. They do that so they could burn the bridge to the other side. Why? Because we can't swim. We can't get to the other side. Yeah. Right? And then that conversely was in a song with Nipsey Hussle. So when you think about what Nipsey Hussle was doing for people like us, right, in our situation, and when they, I don't say they, but when Nipsey Hussle got killed, some would say assassinated, Right? You start thinking of like, man, every time I get attached to somebody that's going to show me how to get out of this, they get taken out. Yeah. Some way, some shape, or some form. A lot of people are not paying attention to this. I like Jay-Z for that um, because he was able to grow and not be the you know, phone uh, cash phone dude or yeah. the I got to fit in because I'm old. 
no, now I'm around to preach. Now I'm yeah. around to teach these young rappers yeah. that they're making you jump around. Don't let them do that. I Call me old. I think Jay-Z still has the best presence of voice, best lyrical content in the game. Now, that's not a rap argument. You could like whoever you want. But who's saying something right now? Yeah. Not too many people. Right. Not too many artists. Um, that's an impactful thing to say on a song with an individual that I'm sure you can argue and I can argue was saving a bunch of people. I yeah. mean, saving a community of people, saving people that weren't educated. You listen to all of Nipsey's flows and they were literally about stuff like that. Like, read, empower yourself, move forward, get out the situation. They're hiding it from us. All these things. And Jay-Z gets on the song and says that, yo, yeah. they burning that bridge to the other side, man. They're killing all those dudes that you look up to in your neighborhood. And they're doing that because they know that they figured it out. And it, it's just, it's just an, yeah. an interesting take on things, man. But I don't know, man. I don't Again, even know how we got there. Back, back to that movie with uh, <laughs> Justin Timberlake and Time. The gatekeepers in one? between, you know, the poor neighborhoods and the rich ones. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? They just they keep it away. And I, I think that's a huge problem now. And I think a lot of these misunderstanding things where it's like, you know, um, you know just where, where, where we dumb it down to political issues. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's that at all. I think like the way you grew up, it's what's meant for you to grow up that way. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, you grew I I I grew up uh, uh I grew up in, in in the projects, right? So it's like you grew up in a community where all the parents are working in the same place, all the kids are going to the same exact school, right? Because you're local, whatever they mm-hmm. want to call it, right? So all these kids are literally mashing each other's heads in the same area forever. Get along, don't get along, they're making cliques, they're making gangs, they're making groups, they're making tribes within each other, they're killing each other, they're slaying each other, right? Mm-hmm. And then on the other end, the parents are purposely because of this fiat system built. To not be able to be keep an eye on those kids. It's crazy. Right? Over and over this game goes, right? Yeah. And then they're fast to get a, a, a police officer to scope the neighborhood and scoop some people up, to pay some yeah. people up. Meanwhile, you travel literally maybe five miles across town. You go to, let's say, a private school. You go to a more private school. And these kids are getting, like, the, 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 the dopamine, right? They're getting, like, full-blown value right off the bat. Learn about this. Learn about that. Grow about this. Grow about that. Back to the fiat conversation we were having. That's incentivizing this world. Yeah. Where many have to struggle for few to be able to survive. Um, and it's incentivized over and over again. But yeah, man, it, it's just a, a shitty situation. And once again, I, I, I really don't know how we got this deep in it, but it's, 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 a, it's a thing that revolves around Bitcoin for me all the time. And it's a thing that makes me passionate about sell, not selling out. And it's a thing that makes me, you know, like with my other podcast, like I don't sell out advertisement wise, um, but like those conversations could be had. It's not happening here yeah, because yeah, I yeah. feel that it's like, I don't know, call it biblical, right? Call it, <laughs> call it the journey, right? Call it the yeah. path, call it the calling, whatever. The, the, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm able to absorb this information very fast, do stuff with it and be able to portray it thanks, thanks to this, this platform and to, to, to my colleagues. But I think that's special. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of people that don't get it. You, you gave the numbers earlier, 7 billion people, 21 million or whatever. I think it's our job to get this word out there and do it in an in, in a, uh, unselfish way and, and uh, a giving way just like it came to us. I've never bought anything Bitcoin mm. unless I wanted to. Yeah. And I still don't think I've bought anything Bitcoin. Like, with a, like That's why I think Palm Shoes are so stupid because it's <laughs> yeah. like, yo, my man, you couldn't make something original. Yeah. You literally just took the Bitcoin logo and sold the Bitcoin logo. Something that's yeah. open source by nature. Right. It's just, I listen, it, when this show, when this show gets merged and stuff like that, it's going to be exclusive to the show. Yeah. It's going to be stuff that we talk about, stuff that we say, sayings, maybe some images that represent you know, the, you know, our culture and things like that, right? But that whole concept of I'm just going to use the Bitcoin logo and they're going to buy this shirt regardless, Yeah, that's a shitty process, man. It's a business for him. That's a business. I, I don't want this yeah. to ever turn into a business, man. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I got nothing else for them. Good I to felt go, like bro. I went on a tangent for nah, long enough. We good. Episode 36. This is going to be our candidate block. Yeah. If it gets approved by the network, you guys will see it next week. Yes, we sir. appreciate you guys as always. If you watch this on YouTube, which is super important, so you can watch all this high definition that Ben is providing you, all this clarity, all this camera work, which, listen, it's not easy. This is a skill. Um, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to us. Leave us a comment. Hit the little bell. That's going to let you know whenever we go live, and we really appreciate that love. If you're listening to us on any of your podcasts, I've been listening. I've been using Fountain lately. Mm-hmm. I believe it's Fountain. Uh, really cool. It is Fountain. Um, I, I reached out to them because I would love to be able to cast, right? Uh, the, the outro, I'm killing it right now. But I, I would like to be able to cast. But other than that, you can get a Lightning Wallet built in right there. You, oh. can, you can support us there. You can listen to us there. Um, and that's your way of indirectly contributing 
um, for the value that we give forward. So subscribe to us. Even if you don't uh, stream us some sets, you can catch us on Apple, uh, Google, all these podcast platforms. Subscribe there. Leave us a comment. People are surprised how good comments work, but the algorithm literally loves people talking about stuff. And if you leave a comment, you're going to help us float up. More people will get this Satoshi goodness. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Until next week. Peace out. All right, later, brother. Later, y'all.